I want to read a scripture, quickly read a scripture that we can keep in our mind as we pray in the Holy Spirit. Psalm 60. I'll read it in the King James. I'll read it in the Living Bible. Then I'll read it in the Message. Psalms 60. Verse 11, he says, Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Give us help. Now, over there, he needed help from trouble. But what about someone who doesn't necessarily need help from trouble, but needs help in his business, needs help in his academic? Give us help in the family, for vain is the help of man. Give it to me in the, in the Living Bible. Yes, Lord, help us against our enemies, for man's help is useless. For man's help is useless. I have to come to that point where man's help is useless. Give it to me again in the message translation. Give us help for the hard task. You know, that's, I've seen it. Give us help for the hard task. Give us help for the hard task. Human help is worthless. Let me tell you something. In my life, human help means nothing to me. No matter how good you think you are, human help means nothing to me. Give us help for the hard task because human help is worthless. Go to the book of Isaiah. Chapter 31, verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Are you seeing? It's a woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. They trust in the help of the world. And he says, and stay on horses. That is, you know, they think they'll be able to have uh, results from the arsenals of men. And he says, and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. So they, they trust in their account. They trust in in who their father is, they trust in. I have an uncle over here. They trust in these things. I would say, woe to such people. Woe to when the Bible says woe to you, it means a curse has been placed on you, and a curse is a limitation. Woe to you, it means everything you are doing, you know, will will, will stop you. See, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Someone say, my help is in the name of the Lord. Say, I, I, I trust in God's help. And look at verse 2. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of evildoers and against the help of them that in work iniquity. Verse 3. Now the Egyptians are men. Oh, hallelujah. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. Lift your hand. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. And their horses flesh and not spirit. Now 
the Egyptians are men and not God. Lord Jesus, my dwelling place, you are find this, my strength and shield. You are my wisdom, and the God of my righteousness, solid rock on which I stand. Go back there. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. And they are horse flesh and not spirit. That means where we get our help from is spirit. It's when the Lord shall stretch out. Let me tell you some people, their problem, the reason why they are not getting what they are looking for is because of that uncle who has been giving them. Because of that particular uncle, they're not going anywhere. Until God removes that uncle from there. You know, some people sometimes in their life, things can be going so well. And all of a sudden, everything will stop. It's not all the time that everything stops that is a demon. Sometimes God is behind it. God removes it. God removes it. Because now, even when you are praying, that's what you are thinking about. That's where it should come from. It, all your mind is there. All your mind is there. You're, you are not looking. You know, and that's why it's so good and so important to be in the ministry where you are being taught the word of God and your focus is being placed on the Holy Spirit. Why? In the beginning, it will never... For example, for example, this instrumental is sitting here. If you have instrumentally friends in certain churches and they are telling you how or oh, maybe they are receiving Pavinagan every Sunday, at that time, you who is doing the right thing will feel like, ah, if I was there, like, by this time I'm taking this. You know? What they don't know is that they are being weakened. They are being weakened. It just might not show in one year, two years. You will now find out that after three years, if they are not there, they cannot survive. If it is stopped now, they cannot survive. Are you getting it? But if you stay where you are being taught the word of God and your focus is on the word of God and your focus on the Holy Spirit for help, you just know that your faith has been built. You can stand anywhere that you can go anywhere. If you travel outside that ch the church, your faith is still active. Vain is the help of man. Vain is the help of man. Learn the word of God. That's why it's so important that when you come to the house of God, don't waste the time. Let me tell you, Ideally, we are supposed to be in church every day. Do you know how much information washes away what we receive on Sunday? That's why technology is a blessing. We, are, we can replay the message again, go back to YouTube, play it, go back, you know, record it on our phone, play it. Because you hear the word of God on Sunday. Throughout the week, dollar rate alone will wash away all your faith. Dollar rate will wash away all your faith. Take for example. It, take for example, we wanted to buy these cameras and these things. Together with the sound. I had a meeting with the technical team some months ago. We sat down. They gave me their budget, everything. Everything was in dollars. That's okay, fine. Now, two things anybody who knows me very well knows I will do is, as I've carried the, the budget home, if you like, turn the church upside down. And if God doesn't tell me to bring out money, forget it. 
and then we'll use our phone. We'll use our phone to, to record the service. I'm not joking. They know. Uh, for example, when the church started, not started, when we came here, when we came to uh, uh, UPSC, I know, I know the Holy Spirit is guiding me to talk before we pray. When we came to UPSA, we were renting the sound from Osofo every Sunday because there was no witness in my spirit to go and buy equipment. But anybody who comes to you, how can you be renting every Sunday? It's a waste of money. He said this. But God didn't tell me to. I can't just go and take money out and buy the thing. God didn't tell me that. So, they will say what they will say. I said, okay. I just left it still. God wasn't telling me that. I just left it. I was just paying the rent, everything. One day, Osofo walked to me. He said, God said he should give all the instruments for free. Now, if we put all the money we use to rent together, it's almost equivalent to the prices of the things. So we bought it. We bought it. Following God. Now, We come to these equipments. God knows. Just let's not lie to ourselves. God knows that dollar will rise. Yet He still not told me to buy anything. I thought He should come and say, the "Dollar is about to rise. Buy it now before it rises." God is not broke, ladies and gentlemen. He's a boss. He just wants you to follow his lead. It's not economy means nothing to him. Lift your hand. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Vain is the help of man. So, we get to dollar is rising per hour. Well, I'm still not faced. As we're ready to buy the thing, we buy it. I'm still not faced at all. We begin these prayers, second day of the prayers, as I'm praying, Holy Spirit said, make a call for them to buy the camera. One camera. Remember, dollar is rising. That should be the time. He probably had bought it at the time the um, budget came, maybe it's almost almost twice the price now. So an economist would have advised me buy it now because the dollar is going. So you understand all those, but God says okay, make the call. So we are praying, <laughs> and anybody who knows me very well knows that I, I hardly do that. But I just followed God. I just made a call. In less than 30 minutes, someone comes to pay. That, that camera is $4,000. In less than 30 minutes, someone and his wife rush here to come and bring the money here. Not half everything. Long story short, we wanted to buy one camera. We have two. to pray the help of God the help of God the help of God you see Holy Spirit is a king he takes his time don't worry there can be voices it's about the economy it's about it. follow the word of God follow the Holy Spirit's guidance listen to the word of God grow your feet Yeah. <laughs>
grow your faith. When people come and see me, Pastor, Pastor, I want to travel outside the country. I said, I said, I just look at them like this. I said, you have not grown your faith. In three years' time, you might not even be a Christian again. Grow your faith. Yesterday, I was talking to one of the pastors, one of the positive pastors. Came to church. It's a 15-year-old boy. Years down the line. Everything his father traveled outside the country to struggle to do, he has already done all. Grow your feet. Believe the word of God and grow your feet. Don't look for shortcuts. Don't look for another way around it. Grow your feet. Grow your feet. Go to pray. Speak in tongues. Till 5.55. Print off to five fifty five. By you, beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Go ahead and begin to pray now. Lada shaka takaba shika ba 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 kada da da ba shaba shaba da ba ba da ba shaba da ba ba da ba kamba da ba ba da ba raka ba da ba ba shaba da ba ba shaba da ba ba kaba shaba da ba ba kaba da ba ba shaba da ba ba sada da ba raba da ba ba shaba da ba kaba shaba kaba raka ka 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 raka ka 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 raka ka 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 imala ba 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 shaba da ba ba raba da ba ba kaba raba da ba ba shaba da ba ba shaba da ba ba raba ba 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 ba
Rabba, 
Rabba 
He is speaking on no tongue, speaking not unto men, but unto God. Let Kaya Kaba. Yala kaba, rapako soka takaba, maka shata kaba, maka kaka kaka, rapako kaba shaba, rapa pa 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 pa, rapa pa 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 pa, rapako kaba shaba, rapa la mbo soka, rapa la ba 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 ba, rapako kaba shaba, rapako kaba moka kaba shaba, rapa la ba ba shaba, rapa la mbo soka, moka ba soka ba, rapako kaba shaba, rapako kaba shaba, rapako kaba shaba, rapa kaka maka ba soka, maka kaka Kaba so, mako kaba shaba, rapa kaba la, rapa kaba la ba, rapa la ba ba shaba, rapa ba la ba ba shaba, la 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 ba so kaba, mo la mo mo so, mo kaba so, mako kaba so kaba, rapa la ba ba shaba, rapa la ba ba shaba, rapa la ba ba shaba, rapa la ba ba kaba, rapa la ba 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 ba, rapa la ba ba shaba, rapa la ba ba shaba, rapa la ba ba shaba, rapa la ba ba kaba, rapa la ba ba shaba, rapa la ba ba kaba, rapa ba 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 ba, rapa. Rabba 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 Rabba
Rama Rama Basha, Rama Ola Basko Kava, Rama Rama Basko Kava, Nima Rama Basha Kava, Rama Rama Basko Kava, Rama Rama Basha Kava, Rama Rama Boske Rama Rama, Rama Rama Basha Kava, Rama Rama Basha Rama Rama Basha Kava, Rama Rama Kavaska, Rama Rama Basha, Rama Rama Kava, Rama Rama Basha Kava, Rama Rama Kava, Raka Kaka Kaka, Raka Kaka, Raka Kaka Basha Kava, Rama Rama Basha Kava, Rama 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 Rama, Rama 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 Rama, Rama Rama Basha Kava, 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 Rama Rama Basha Rama 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 Kava Shara Baba Shika Randa Kava Sata Kava La Baba Rosha Kava Baba Lift up your hands and Baba 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 Lift up your hands and thank Him Oh Rabba Baba 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 Shika Baba Moto Kora Baba Sat Maker of all things By whom all things consist The Word made flesh the glory of the Father, maker of all things I am, by whom all things consist. The Word made flesh, I am, glory of Socrates, let's lift your voice, worship you. Maker of all things, by whom all things consist. The word made flesh, yeah. the glory of Anosaka Tani Kobareka Seka Midaya Soko Nana Sipa Lato Sake Elato Kalaka Takara Baba Shaka The word made flesh, yeah. Kola Muti Kenako Siko Teka Lala Shikala Shila Baba Labo Sakaba Motaka Basha Mashana Koteka Totema Mabo Bobo Moko Kolaka Moko Kolaka Moko Kolaka Baba And the word made flesh, yeah. The glory of the Father, Jesus, God of everything, the way, the truth, and life, Motika, in you, there's no shadow of turning, Jesus, first begotten of the dead, the prince of the kings of the earth. You are the most high God. Ora koshe kata, ime kati kalido na mata kosha kova makabala. Mabala, 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 baba. Shika la kakakaba. There's none like the God of Jeshurun who rided upon the heavens in thy help. Man talk about his excellency in the sky. There's none like the God of Jeshurun who rides upon the heavens in thy help and in, the, in his excellency in the sky. Showing himself strong on your behalf. Oh, taking your side, taking your side, taking your side. He's, God is taking your side. 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 He's showing himself strong on your behalf. He's showing himself some strong on your behalf. He's taking your side. Oh, the lebo koto fala baba leka kaka kaka le malabo shika toka bala baba shaka baya ela koka ba. Jesus, God of everything, the way, the truth, the life. There's no shadow of turning. Jesus. First begotten of the dead, Prince of the kings of the earth, you are the most high God. Lord Jesus, we worship, proclaim your name forever, most high God. Most high God, Lord Jesus, we worship and proclaim your name forever. Most high God, Orax, Kayakos, 
Pela, ai, 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 oh Jesus, we worship, é por quem eu nem forever, moça em cá, moça em cá, Jesus, we worship, é por quem eu nem forever, moça em cá, Oda, Shanta, Chuka, Lama, Oda, Malama, praise Him this morning. Lord Jesus, we worship and proclaim Your name forever. Ole da ya kasha, ayala la 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 kasha, mola la la ba ba ba, mola ba 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 ba, mola la ba 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 ba, mola la la ba ba, sheba la ba ba. Hey, Lord Jesus, we worship, proclaim your name forever. Most high God, most high God, Jesus. Ah, he's taking your side. He's taking your side. He's taking your side. The Lord is taking your side. Oh, la shake it, take it. The Lord is strong for you. He's strong for you. He's strong for me. He's strong for me. For there's none like the God of Jeshurun. Who rided upon the heavens in that help? Oh, leka sheka toka, leka kaka kaka, ba 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 shina ba ba ba, lude kosi kata, rata ta 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 ta, rata ta 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 ta, rata ta 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 ta, rata ta ta, rata ta 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 ta. For there's none like the God of Jeshurun. For there's none like the God of Jeshurun. Who rideth upon the heaven in thy help? Whoa! Shaka ta 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 ta. Halleluya. Halleluya. Motata. Shete te te te. Favor with God. Favor with God. That's what God said to me while we prayed. Ah, yeah. Koda ya mashika. Koda mayashika. Favor with God. Favor with God. You see. In life, who likes you matters. The person who likes you matters. If you read yesterday's rhapsody, you you see it. The person who likes you matters. If the woman opposite your house, no disrespect to the woman, the woman opposite your house, who sells provisions. They say that ah, the woman really likes you. Not much can change in your life. You understand? If I let me break it down. If you grew up on your own like myself and you cannot cook and every day you have to buy food.
when you are going to buy the jollof, if the one selling likes you, it's different. <laughs> it's true, eh? You're going to buy Wachi. Then, the one behind it says, when she sees you, say, Oh, David, you are here. You know that whatever you are bringing out your money for, you are going to get more than that. Who likes you matters. Favor with God is as simple as God liking you. And you know what happens when somebody likes you. So you actually need the knowledge of the one who likes you. That's the basis of it. Knowledge of God. If we have a true knowledge of God, I want to read the scripture to you, Exodus 33. God said to Moses, I'll start reading from verse 15. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, carry us not happens, you know. Verse 16. For wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Moses is praying on. Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated? No, look at it. He said, Moses is saying that how will people, he said, where will it be known? How will people be able to tell that we found grace in thy sight? How will people be able to know? He said, is it not in that thou goest with us? Is it, if God takes your side, he says, you will be separated. Favor with God separates you. Everywhere you get to it, people can tell that there's something there about you. Because God has taken your side. Now, remember, I'm not saying just God loves you. God loves you, very important. But aside the God loving you, there's God liking you. God loves everybody. But God can like you. I'll show you the scripture. And what happens when God likes you? He said, In that thou goest with us, he says, So shall we be separated. I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. He said, We will be separated till today. The Jews are separated. Till today they are separated. They are a different set of people. In fact, the whole world is running based on the calendar God gave them. Separated. He said, because there's something God about them. Something God, because God has taken their side. He said, so shall we be separated. I see a separation. I see a separation. Ah, we'll just look at this place. There's something of God on this place. separation so that's how we'll be distinguished I see. So that's how we'll be separated upon the face of the earth. Verse 17. And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight, and I know thee by name. Give it to me in the NIV. This verse 17. And the Lord said unto Moses, 
I will do the very thing you have asked me because I am pleased with you. And I know you. I know you by name. I know you by name. Other versions say, I like you. All right. I said I'll show you the scripture about God liking you. First Chronicles chapter 28. Start from verse, verse 3. But God said unto me, Thou shalt not build an house for my name, because thou hast been a man of war, and hast said, Blood. You see, David was praying from verse 1. And David assembled all the prince of Israel, the prince of the tribes. That is how he wants to build God a house in verse 3. He now moves and, and God speaks to him. He says, Thou shalt not build an house in my name because thou hast been a man of war and hast shed blood. Verse 4. My point. How be the Lord God of Israel chose me before all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. For he had chosen Judah to be the ruler and of the house of Judah, the house of my father. And among the sons of my father, he liked me to make me king over all Israel. Look at, look at the progression. He says, How will the Lord God of Israel chose me before the house of my father to be king over Israel forever? For he had chosen. So, first of all, God chose Israel. Then, after choosing Israel, he chose Judah. And after choosing Judah, the house of Jesse. Now, these are all in the prophecy. But Jesse too has many sons. So, who will be? So, all of them qualify according to, you get it, he chose Israel. They all qualify. He chose Judah. They all qualify. House of Jesse. They all qualify. So then how is God going to choose? Like, he likes somebody inside it. Lift your hand. Mose, may God like you and prove it. Say, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Thank you, my father. You give a special seed this morning. Feel the power of God. You give a special offering this morning. You give a special offering this morning. And those who wanted to still give for the camera, I saw some people said they wanted to still give for the camera. Go ahead and do that and just reference it. Just reference it. Um, the person said, oh, those who in Nigeria, what you need to do is you download the Express Pay app. app. There's an app there called Express Pay. And you can do your whole transaction from there. You'll be able to do it through that. Use the mobile money um, to do that transaction. Does Express Pay allow banks as well? Yes, you can even go to Nigeria. They do more bank transfer than they do. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's time for us to give our offering. Give a special offering this morning. You know the song. What a mighty God you are. Strong and powerful you are. And I don't Lord, we bow before you. Are. Strong and powerful you are. In the door, Lord, we bow before you. Hallelujah. What a mighty God you are. Strong and powerful you
This Sunday is mega Sunday service. It's going to be an extraordinary mega Sunday service. A day of great salvation, a day of great blessings. It's the great gathering. Great blessings. As I pray for that meeting, I'm seeing a lot. Someone sent me a question about miracles. And um, I, I, I want to answer it here. That is it possible that someone receives a miracle in a service, a person walked, a person went home, and they didn't walk again? Of course. Jesus Christ said that after he healed a woman, he said, go and sin no more. He said, less a greater than this will come upon you. So, retaining your miracle is a different topic altogether. Now, that's the reason they call it science and wonders. I want to explain something to you. The reason they call it signs and wonders is this. is because it is a sign that something has happened or God has done something. But it is not the... God doesn't want you to live on miracles. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. So, if in a meeting, all right, if in a meeting, someone got healed and walked, the person, like Jesus Christ, after healing the person, didn't just say go. He said, there are some, he told them, go and show yourself to the priest. Some, he would tell them, Go and sin no more. Why? Because there's always something you should do after the miracle has happened. See, so, yes, God did it, but you should remain in an atmosphere of faith. By the time you go back home and they're asking you, are you sure? Are you sure? You are back. You are back. You are going back to the wheelchair again. Then also, there's also another thing that you need to understand. I mean, for this one, I have to show you a scripture, so it's not like I'm... Uh... John chapter 4. I'll start reading from verse 50, okay? From, from verse 50, John chapter 4, verse 50. Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. Look at it. Go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him, and he went his way. All right? Now, this man has a sick son. Jesus Christ gives a word. He says, Go thy way, thy son liveth. All right? And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken to him. And he went his way. Verse 51. And as he was now going down, his servant met him and told him, saying, Thy son liveth. So the miracle had happened. But look at the question that the man asked. Verse 52. Then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him, yesterday, at the seventh hour, the fever left him. So what is happening? The healing was gradual. It didn't just happen. Don't people think miracles are magic. Some, some miracles happen instantly. Then some the person begins to amend. That's why some people go for some healing stream. After the healing stream, nobody got healed in quotes. But after three days, you see that the miracles have started happening because the people began to amend. For example, these things like they are real. If, like for example, the, the, the testimony of the guy who had not worked for 30 years, do you know what it means not to work for 30 years? Do you know every day as we are working, we are training our legs? So if the person has not worked for 30 solid years, he is healed. All right? But probably at that time, he can take just a few steps. Because the limbs, I don't know, you have to understand, the limbs are not working. 
So sometimes you ad advise some people that start fish you. Why? Because Jesus uh, raised a girl from the dead. The girl had been dead for so many hours. When Jesus Christ raised the girl, he said, give, him, give her food to eat. Why? Because dead for so long and she has not eaten for so long. If you leave her like that, she's going to die again. So sometimes there are some, some, some physical interventions. Like, for example, there are some physical interventions you have to make after the person has been healed. I'll give you an example. There are sometimes you cast out devils. Now, if the devil was responsible for the problem in the person's hand, you cast out the devil, the devil is gone. But the problem is still there. So casting out devils is doing from the healing the sick. Do you get it? But you need to cast out devils to heal the sick. Because the devil is causing the problem. You cast out the devil, you now have to heal the problem. You know, that's why it's so important you are an atmosphere of faith and the, the right teaching of the word of God. When Jesus Christ went to his hometown and nobody could be healed, the Bible says he began to teach in the synagogues. Why? Because he realized that their problem was unbelief. And how do you cure unbelief? Teaching. Cure unbelief through teaching.